Welcome to my channel on Tools for Ascension by Wolfgang and I'm Wolfgang. So in this guided meditation we will be calling in our beloved pets and have a loving exchange you know, with it. Make sure, you know, its consciousness can move on to a higher consciousness. And uh, we will set free what we love, no worries. Um, most of your pets come back voluntarily. And of course, you know, most pets die before we do, and we miss them very much. You know, when we lost pets in our childhood many times, it was even more devastating for us. You know, for many of us, you know, pets were the bestest friends. And for some of us, you know, um, pets were the only ones that gave us love. So, um, just close your eyes and make sure, you know, that you feel very comfortable. Mm -hmm. Lay down or sit up. And um, we ask that everything that happens in and from this guided meditation here is going to be for the highest good and divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes. Uh, just make sure you nod your head or you know agree in your mind uh, with it so you're protected. And uh, now um, we ask you know, divine love, you know, from absolute source to surround us mm -hmm. and to guide and protect us, and to keep protecting us, especially our heart and our higher spiritual communication system, and to please also purify any dark interferences like spells, curses, entities, or blocks. They are like black magic or trauma. As much as possible, please. Mm -hmm. And now imagine um, that from you know your legs, you growing deep roots into the earth, and the same with your spine. Your spine also extends in your imagination deep into the earth, and you smile. And you pull that love from the Earth Goddess into your whole body. And on the exhale, you send your love down to the Earth. Deep inhale. And then all the way down. Back and forth. Just like the waves at the beach. Mm -hmm. And we ask the angels of love and light to protect us from any dark beings mm -hmm. that will try to manipulate us or study us or observe us or bring us on the wrong path to wrong conclusions. Um, and of course we also invite all of our soul aspects that are approved by our own high self you know, for assistance. Um, And by now, your heart should be filling up with the love of the Earth Goddess, and it's time to hook up with your higher dimensional realities. Just put your tongue to the top of the palate, and that way you can breathe better into and through your brain, you know, activate your brain with the Qi, and start pulling as much Qi from the Earth Goddess into your heart, and then send it over the tongue, you know, through your head, out the top of the head. Mm -hmm. Open your crown chakra, activate your higher consciousness. Be breathing and smile. And you know the angelic arm. You want to be friendly. Mm -hmm. Don't go in there grumpy. 
deep breathing and smiling like an idiot. Mm -hmm. And now um, imagine you pull in the love of Milky Way Galaxy. This beautiful, huge, divine mother is aware, conscious, smart. She's so smart, she knows every aspect of you. Just pull in her love. Form the heavens into yourself. And just keep pulling it in. And, you know, on the exhale, you don't roar. You just let it linger, the love. Just fill yourself with the love of the heavens. And now also feel yourself yourself with the love of the Earth Goddess simultaneously. Just bring it in from both sides. You know, you can do it with your mouth closed. I'm just making it loud. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, the noise cancellation cuts it out. sure your heart is blazing and we ask the spirit guides and our high selves to please clear any blocks that are still in our heart. You know, sadness, emotions from other people, maybe ex-lovers, let's clear this. You know, also sadness and heart pain we you know, inherited from our parents. We know all the stuff that's not ours. Please clear as much as possible now. Amen. Keep on breathing and smiling, you know, from both ends up and down <laughs> into your heart. And also in so many lifetimes we vowed not to love anymore because, you know, there's always separation sooner or later and it just hurts so much. Of course we want to clear those vows. We want to love again. Um, Keep on breathing, it takes about five seconds before those you know, intents um, kick in. So it should be kicking in now. Just keep on breathing that heaven and earth love into your heart. <laughs> and now um, call on you know, your favorite pet that you're missing the most. Mm -hmm. Call it smile and probably you start you know feeling a presence some of you of course may see the pet and some of you may have to imagine the pet a little bit but most of you can feel the presence mm -hmm. and now you just you know Pull in this love from heaven and earth into your heart, and on the exhale, send this love to your pet. Just imagine breathing, feeling that love from your heart onto the pet. And smile. Mm -hmm. And if you pay attention, you may also feel, you know, the love of the pet coming back to you like an echo. And just keep sending this love to your pet. And of course, you can hug it or pet it, you know, in any way you know you want and you were used to. And now give your pet also the opportunity to love your back. So on the inhale, imagine pulling, you know, its love from its heart into your heart. And on the exhale, you send your love with your breath to your pet's heart. And just go back and forth. As if you're passing in a 
and back and forth her cotton ball of love. And smile. And of course, if you have to cry, you know, go for it. You know, crying, you know, clears, you know, all, all sadness. And you can also cry out of joy and love. You know, crying is very, very purifying for the emotions. Mm -hmm. Just go ahead and just let it rip. Mm -hmm. It's a good thing. Bottled up emotions are no good. Just express it. Express yourself. Yeah, just keep them smiling and breathing. Mm -hmm. Enjoying the love coming into you from your pet. And enjoying the love sending to your pet. Pull it in. Feel all the nuances of the love. And then send it out from your heart. And feel that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this was the first greeting. And of course, you know, we had many pets in this lifetime. In this lifetime, most of us, you know, had several cats, dogs, hamsters, birds, mm -hmm, whatever it is. So, um, whoever pets are stuck now on the astral plane of yours, we ask that they please be brought, you know, by, you know, specialized ascension teams that are divine, that are volunteered, mm -hmm, to bring them to your presence now. Amen. Just give permission. And one, two, three. Oh. Ah, you probably start feeling their presence now mm -hmm. in your own heart or around you mm -hmm. and smile otherwise you won't perceive their love and start sending them the love that you pull in from heaven and earth you know just spray it to all of them around you and smile and breathe and your main focus should be on pulling in as much love from heaven and earth into yourself. And then you can give the overflow, the skirt it onto your pets. Pull it in. And then skirt it onto your pets. And you probably will feel how the love becomes more and more, more subtle, more sublime, just relish that, and try to have nice deep long breath, you no longer relishing of love moving in either the coming or going direction. Mm -hmm. Of course, now invite their love also, so imagine pulling in their love into you from their hearts. And on the exhale, you send their love, your love, to them, mm -hmm. back and forth. An ocean of loving, ecstatic, she, back and forth. in so many lives. Mm -hmm. In every human incarnation, we probably had some pets. You know, we had dogs that protected us from bears or wolves that hunted for us, that died for us. We had horses that labored for us, that carried our burden, that died for us in the hunt or in the war. We had parrots, we had birds, we had 
apartments in all kinds of animal species. All kinds of species. The bond between humans and animals has been deep and has been going for many lifetimes. So many of them are still attached to us and there is a deep bond of love with them. So we invite them now to come in. We ask angelic ascension teams to bring them now into our presence. Pretty, pretty please. Wherever they're stuck on the astral plane. Uh -huh. Make sure you agree. And it takes about five seconds. Ah, oh, yeah, and here they're coming in. It smiles. It's pulling their love. Send your love to them. And pull in their love. And send your love to them. Keep on breathing. If you have to cry, let it. Don't worry about it. Let it rip. Let it go, the bottled up grief, the lonelessness, our guilt when they died for us, our guilt when they labored for us, the donkeys that gave their last, the horses that gave their last breath for us. We let go of our guilt. And we ask them for forgiveness. Please forgive us for abusing you and not respecting you enough. For not giving you more appreciation. We're so sorry. We're so sorry. We're so sorry. Please forgive us. Please forgive us. Please forgive us. And keep sending them love. And pull in their love. And and four. And if we ever bound them to us, you know, through magic, so they always be our property, we ask for forgiveness for that. Or if we bound them to us through contracts, or other means that are not of the highest good, we apologize. Apologize. Also, we apologize for separating them from their loved ones and kind of forcing them into a slavery so many times. We apologize. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. And we ask the divine beings of love and light, like Archangel Michael or Lord Shiva or Lord Ganesh, you know, whatever extension of souls or even source itself, you know, you are familiar with. We ask them to please now clear, you know, any spells and curses that we put onto them. Or that others put onto them, you know, sometimes out of envy or jealousy, you know, on beautiful horses or dogs, you know, curses we put out of jealousy or for competition. Mm -hmm. We're so sorry. Also, where we did this on other people's pets, we ask that they also please be cleared. We're so sorry. We're so sorry. We're so sorry. Please forgive us. 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 Just keep on breathing this love. And we also asked, you know, that for all the animals, you know, that got sacrificed, sometimes the best horses or bulls were sacrificed. We are so sorry, we are so sorry that their life was squandered like that. We apologize. And we ask that they also please be liberated you know, from whatever happened to them. 
and also so many animals got sacrificed in the name of science you know for experimentation you know modern lab rats mice are just one example of them so we like to have those also we give them special assistance and then also many animals got sacrificed and then their spirits were forced you know to do um, services against their will like harassing certain people or certain animals like race horses etc we also ask that they will please be reunited with lost loved one mm-hmm. and we ask that any ghost you know that harass our pets you know, also be helped into their ascension elevators you know, or sent to divine justice mm-hmm. I've encountered that um, you know um, one horse got persecuted by a human that got thrown off the horse in a past lifetime and got killed and he was still vengeful in this lifetime persecuting the horse you know. so we like to have those vengeful ghosts you know this could also be maybe wolves or dogs that got kicked by a horse you know whatever any animal may have some vengeful ghost too we like to have all of these beings number out to particular ascension temples or elevators that are most appropriate for them um, make sure you agree to this and there we like to have them reunited you know, with other loved ones that they're missing maybe they have you know, Uh, mummies you know, or other brothers, sisters or babies themselves whatever they are missing to have them reunited mm-hmm. some of them maybe even with their masters that they love the most mm-hmm. and then facilitate their ascension through insight and forgiveness show them you know the task of this incarnation what they volunteered for What was sabotage from the dark side? What was karma? You know, also show them the hidden things. Mm-hmm. Ah, yeah. Just keep sending love to them. The more love, you know, from heaven and earth they get, the easier it will be for them to ascend and raise their vibration. And there you go. You know, you may feel the energy flowing up. Flowing higher and higher in your chakras. Mm-hmm. Just breathe heaven love up. Help them to come up. And then there will be a point where you feel this. Ah, expansive feeling. I call this the heaven scale when they go into the higher dimension beyond the astrals. Mm-hmm. And we ask that all the burden that is still left from them please be cleared. Mm-hmm. It's our sadness that is their sadness. Mm-hmm. Whatever it is, our negative thought forms, pain, vows, promises misunderstanding we like to have all the darkness that was there left from them cleared up up um that's kicking in now We also ask, you know, um, that any vows, contracts, promises, curses, candle magic, black magic, any forms of bindings, any bombs or booby traps, claws, hooks, cords, chains and anything else that was not mentioned but that, you know, keeps them bound, you know, to us or other beings or to the arms that they speak clear so they're free now. Um, 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 
know that feels good. <laughs> and now one more thing. Yeah. So we're going to be inviting, you know, the high self of your favorite pet. You know, that is your most attached to, that you know, meant the most in your life. And just like a human, um, you know, there's also for animals an angelic overshadowing intelligence there. And I mean, any life form, you know, has evolved into a higher intelligence. You know, humans are, let's say, evolved monkeys. But, you know, also the cat beings have evolved. You know, all the beings, the dark beings have evolved, you know, to highest intelligence. Insectoids have evolved. The reptilians have evolved. So now we call for the high self of your favorite pet to be present now in front of you. Amen. Agree. It takes about five seconds. Smile. Ah, it's coming in. And well, send love from heaven and earth mm -hmm. to this high self whatever form it takes. Many of you will only feel a presence. Some of you will see a presence. For some of you it may be an animal form or a humanoid form with an animal head. And for some of you it may just be a radiant being, just a radiance, you know, no body, no arms and legs as such. Mm -hmm. And now if it has responded well to the love that you have been sending, inhale the love from the high self of your favorite pet. And on the exhale, send your love with your breath and your heart to this being. Back and forth. And of course, we ask the angels of love and light to make sure that nothing dark or inappropriate is being transferred between you. No, in either direction. Amen. Mm -hmm. And now let's ask, you know, whether this pet that we have lost, you know, in the physical, will it come back into our life? Yes or no? And some of you may get an answer. But generally, if it's an upflow of energy, that's a yes. And if it's a downflow of energy from the heart down, like a downer, that's a no. You can ask again, will this pet come back into your life? Yes or no? And in which form? Sometimes species change, so in which kind of form will it come? Please. And in a word, which time, like a month, a year, five years? And how do we know it's the right one? Give us a sign. And now with the pet that we had, mm -hmm. what was the lesson that we as this human were teaching the pet? Please let us know now. Amen. And what was the lesson that the pet was teaching the human? Please tell me now. Amen. And thank you. Mm -hmm. We thank this being for coming. Mm -hmm. 
and whatever else you want to say, say it now. And now we thank all those beings that came and helped with the ascension of our pets into the higher dimensions and the liberation of the pets and of guiding and protecting us. Thank you so much. And if anything dark or inappropriate is still stuck to us or came into our space, um, please clear this now. Send those energies to where they can be used and of our and are of highest service to Creator. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And whatever energies can return to us now, reintegrate. Mm -hmm. We like to have this done too. Uh -huh. And then we like to be upgraded to the latest Lost Divine Blueprints for us, according to our high self's approval, of course. Uh, and once it's synergized, please charge them up to optimal energy levels. And then lock these levels in and protect them so they cannot be stolen or contaminated by the service to self beings. And then surround us with this powerful aura of love and light that can only be penetrated by love and light. And that integrates our light and dark side into the whole, so we can transcend duality. Um, um, um. And one, two, three, you're fully grounded back in vacant day consciousness again. Well, welcome back, and I hope you had an intense experience, you know, with your pet. Um, this is not necromancy, you know, in necromancy you force spirits to do your bidding. We are not doing this, you know. We are having a loving exchange with the spirits, and we help them, you know, to go into a higher plane of consciousness. And we also set them free you know, in any way of bondage. You know, this is part of the Creator's will, you know, that everybody be free. There no slavery. Mm -hmm. you know, so this is a very good thing, whatever belief system you're coming from. You know, don't feel any guilt about doing this. Well, um, drink a lot of water <coughs> and um, give me a thumbs up. So, you know, I thank you for that. So this message can spread to other people. You know, feel free to share, you know, your experiences, you know, with these people that are gonna be watching this video too. It helps, you know, it helps people to see that they're not alone. You know. I love you and um, you know, keep smiling and watch the other videos too.